And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Aerobiz Supersonic. I am your host, the RPG guy. Back from my hiatus of dealing with real work and stuff. We've ended our turn. We are a little on the low side on money. We've been spending, spending, spending. But at the same time, we've been expanding, expanding, expanding. And at a very fast rate. And I want to keep that rate up. As well as take out our competition, Rio Air, as quickly as possible. Since Baghdad's not doing so hot. And Dragon is dominating their region because we have no way of getting there, because it's 1956, and the 747 does not exist. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll keep, we'll make our comeback. And the Middle East War, the Middle East War too, has just broken out. All flights have been canceled, and New Delhi is currently the hot spot for this year. All right, we dominate in the international flights. We'll see how we do in uh, Latin America or South America specifically. We dominate Europe, the Baghdad dominates the Middle East, Dragon's going to dominate Asia and Oceania by this point, which is fine. Rio Air, okay, no, we dominate the US, and Rio Air is killing us because they fly to more places, but that's going to change as we progress here. Our expenses margin is still growing dramatically. We are spending a lot. The goal is in order to make one company defunct. And that's going to take a while. So they open another from Moscow to Athens. That's going to be a controversial issue for us. So we'll deal with that as we need to. But we need to keep expanding in Europe. Um, and this is our chance right now to really start expanding in South America and destroy our competition. The problem is Mexico City has run out of slots. We only have three slots available. That's crap. The only way for us to fix this is to make Mexico City build up. So by building up, building it up business-wise, more people will want to fly there, and in turn, we will get more opportunities to do stuff. So we're going to keep buying up the businesses, mostly in Mexico City for now, um, to make more people want to fly there and for them to want to expand. Because right now we have 21 months. That's... That's six turns before it expands, but as soon as it does, we expand with it. So let's buy the last two businesses here, so that way we dominate Mexico City and not the other way around. And letting Rio Air kind of kick us in the teeth, which is what they have the potential to do. So let's beat them out now, beat them fast, beat them hard, beat them fast, shove my business right up their ass. And then we'll expand into the other countries, into the other countries in South America. But let's look at Europe. We do not have slots. We need more slots in London. It's always slots in London that I... Whenever you expand, you always find yourself needing more upon more slots. So let's expand, obviously, the max, because there's a lot of flights we can do in London. So let's do it. There's a lot of slots available in London. So fucking A, let's do it. Um, And let's send... Uh, let's send her out to... Nah, Switzerland isn't going to be that great. Paris. It's a short flight. It doesn't make a lot of money, but we could do maybe 10 flights there. And really help dominate the passenger count. The passenger count. Which is what score... It's not about the money. It's about the passenger count. When it comes... I, I believe. I, I, I'm fucking losing my mind. So let's just fucking do this. That ends my turn. <laughs> I could have done some flights to... Uh... uh Vienna, but I chose to wait. I'd rather wait till I have more slots to do many places. That way there's no question of how many slots I have. New Delhi is still the population station. Good for that. Or, uh, sightseeing, rather. Let's see what happens now. We were in 2000. The two, like the 2600 or 2000, yeah, 2600 some odd mark over Rio Air. Let's see if it goes up. Look at that. It's already gone up. Did we just beat Rio Air and I just totally drove by it? I plowed by it. No, they're still dominating us in South America, but we went from 2,400 to 6,300. Uh, well, that's for the year, but I know it went up to like 3,700, so we, we got better, and it's going to keep getting better, baby, especially when we start expanding all over South America because everybody's going to want to go to Mexico City. But we can't do that until more slots are available. So there's no point in investing in slots now that we can't fucking use. I mean, I could make one flight somewhere in South America, but I just don't see the point. Right now. 
Let us uh, expand in Europe. Continue to expand there. Let me think. Uh, let's do Italy. So let's do Italy, because Milan is not going to offer much to us. Um, Italy's bigger city. We'll do five there. Vienna's fine. Munich, fuck it. Zurich. Uh, I don't usually have good experiences there. Let's go with Barcelona or Madrid. Which one's bigger? Which one's better? Okay, better tourism, lower economy. Or kind of average. 36, 36 at 2.5 mil. Versus 27, 32, one point. Okay, now, statistically, the other place is uh, Madrid is better. We'll go to Madrid. It's five slots there. Nine months, because the relations are blue. They're not as good. And let's send our last minion. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20. We need more slots in London. Yeah, I know. We have, we need 20. Plus another at least 10, so we'll take 14. Keep taking them. But that should be the last of what we need, unless I want to expand more in Europe, which I can wait on. Alright, that's not a big deal. Now let's connect uh, to Vienna. We've waited long enough. The Viennese want us to, to you know, they want to visit the great USOA, baby. We can also start building up possibly London. And making that a popular hub to fly to. Because we're going to connect London to the Middle East and to Africa. And when, we, when the opportunity presents itself. Let's go for 10. And then we need to check our income revenue for the flights that we have. How much money are we making and do we need to dick around more competition-wise with Rio Air? So let's take a look here. This is going to be Europe for the most part. London, New York is always delicious. Athens is maxed out at 20%. Sweet. Vienna we just put, so that doesn't matter. All right. Let's go to South America. This is going to be the one we probably will edit things. Mex City, New York is looking delicious. 70% out of Sao Paulo. Let's see what the competitors are doing. Minus 20. You know what? I'm not here to make money on this flight. This is not about the money. This is about dicking over the man. Dicking them real hard. Mm, feels good. All right, and then maybe do an advertisement. Oh, uh, we can't do that right now. So, yuck. All right, and then let's check out North America. Make sure the the income is still good. So we're gonna lose money on that Sao Paulo flight. The goal is to undermine and undercut the competition. The fact that we're filling flights at 70% with a competitor is still a pretty good sign. Everything's looking pretty good in the U.S., so, yeah. We'll keep everything as is. I put in my pants. All right, so they're opening up in Sweden, uh, Sydney and Perth. Man, Baghdad is doing bad right now. Their Baghdad is doing bad. And what do we got here? World War Three. Middle East War II shows no signs of ending. Yada yada yada. Uh, New Delhi still the sightseeing capital. I know I'm powering through it pretty quick, but I know I'm, I'm reading aloud what I know these guys are doing because I'm seeing it happen in fucking real time. You don't need me to overly over overly dictate. You don't need to read everything as long as you get a general idea. And that's really true. Even in the hardest difficulties, you don't pay that much to the routes they're opening. You just put a lot of thought into basic strategy ideas that they're coming up with. So look at that. We increased it to 54, so it's getting higher every quarter. Every quarter we're making a slight adjustment, though it said last time it's 64. Whatever. I don't care. And look at that. We're catching up, and we haven't even opened a new route yet. That's a big deal. And a new plane, the B-707, is about to come out from Boeing. We'll keep our eyes on that, but it's usually not very good. Uh-oh, they're flying into North America now. To New York City, too. 
So now that they are flying into New York, we need to buy up uh, the, the business, the best businesses in New York before they do. Um, so let's do that now. I miss, I must have not been paying attention when they said they were sending people there. Um, oh, wait, I own the hotel. That's right. I'm black. I forget that. My flag's black. Uh, let's take... These are very expensive. Let's, well, we'll take the travel agency. So, because we have a competitor flying to one of our major money-making cities, we have to dominate that city just to make it not worth their time. Now, they are flying from, I think, Russia, right? Russia to... there. They must have negotiated. They must have sucked a lot of, uh, of American cock to get that, because flying from Russia to there is usually pretty difficult. Alright, um... We've got no flights available yet. We're still negotiating, so, uh... Good for right now. Next round, we're gonna open up. Maybe a, um, we're gonna. Let me see. What what is the duration here? I don't have any more dudes to do this with, do I? Let me do. Uh, you know what? Let me send the return flight. We need to know how many more turns it's gonna take before more slots open up in South America. Because as soon as they become available, we gotta buy them all up. Buy them up. So. So five more turns. Shit. No. Five more turns. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. So we may have to just start opening some slots around the country, around the country until we can do more. But right now we're just kind of at a stalemate of stuff to do, which is fine. I mean, Dragon's expanding, which is easy for them to do. Um, Baghdad is doing pretty shit awful right now, and we want to keep it that way. And, uh, World War II of East, uh, Middle East World War II. Middle East War II. And New Delhi's still popular, but that's gonna change soon. I know L- I think LA at some point becomes a popular place to fly to, and we've got the market there. And when it does, when it does do that, we can up the fee like 50% and just charge out the ass. And that's what I'm waiting for, baby. Oh, charging out the ass. Okay, so we haven't improved our passengers much because we're not flying anywhere else in South America. We can't. I mean, we could, but we wouldn't get a lot of flights. But we'll try. We'll, we'll aim for that uh, in a round or two. Uh-oh, Dragon's flying in Europe now. But that's fine because we're about to get access to three other countries. Which is good. Again, another way for us to dominate this area. We're also going to start flying to Africa soon because it's easy to do. Let's send uh, someone out here for, I'd say, three slots in, like, Buenos Aires or... Uh, which, let's see which is better. Buenos Aires, Santiago, or Lima. Um, wow, Buenos Aires is shit. No offense if you're from Argentina, but that's shit. Santiago, Chile, is worse. Um... But we gotta do it somewhere. Lima. Lima, Lima, Lima. Oh my god! These places are shitholes! May as well just try uh, Rio, even though that's further away. Maybe out of our reach, too. That's actually the best one we've seen. Let's try Kingston, Jamaica. Though they will revolt eventually. Uh, so it may not be a good idea. Well, that's pretty good, actually. And it won't be expensive to fly there. Havana is worse than Kingston, I think. 14 and 12. I don't know. This is a risk. That's a big risk. Let's go with, I think, I want to say Lima was maybe... Of the three southern South American countries, Lima has pretty good economy. We'll do three slots. We'll give it a try. And if it doesn't work, we will renegotiate and figure out other shit. Oops, I hit the B button. Do, 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 do. But we gotta start moving flights around. We really gotta start pushing them. Right now, it's just killing me that we don't have enough flights going. All right. Let's do... Let's start spreading to Africa. I bless the rains down in Africa. My nipples are hard down in Africa. Tunis. If Tunis is... Tunis is our best bet. Cairo is in a state of war. So building in Cairo is just giving yourself... May as well just give yourself a big fat-ass middle finger. And let's also do uh, the Middle East somewhere, because we can't get to Asia unless we have access to the Middle East. New Delhi! Tehran. Tehran has issues, so maybe not Tehran. 
Baghdad has shit relations. A lot of people. And Baghdad Airlines is flying out of Baghdad, too. That's an option, but let's take it. Let's check them out compared to New Delhi, because we can reach New Delhi, I believe. It's not fair to compare it to New Delhi, so let's not send anybody yet until New Delhi's uh, bullshit has been figured out with its tourism. When Delhi's to New Delhi's tourism dies, we'll check it out again. It's risky to send someone out there now. It really is. And let us boost uh, everything going on in London. So let's do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's build up in London. London. Let's get crazy at hotels in London. Do, do, do. take the hotel you can't usually go wrong with the hotels i don't know if there's any kind of difference other than the value of it being the more people you draw i've never noticed that mechanic so much so arguably you could go with the cheaper options but i do believe the more expensive the option is the more affluent it, not affluent the more efficient it will be for you to make money off of all right let's just send one of our paris to Paris, one of our DC sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow! Two of these things cover all ten flights with some despair. So that's fine. Let's do ten percent. Or you know what? Let's do twenty percent. Let's just see if that works. We've got ten flight options there. Let's see if we can make some fucking bank on this because we're not going to make a lot per flight anyway. So. See, $173 a flight. That's, that's shit. And nobody's flying to Paris right now. We have the majority of flights there. And then we're going to go to... Uh, not Barcelona. What was the other place that we opened up? Italy. And try to dominate Italy early on as well. Barcelona will be in a round or two from now. And then uh, Tunis will take its time. It'll take a while for Tunis. Right. We'll test that out and see how that works. Let's check our current flights in Europe. Um, we don't have anything new. Oh, did we do something new in South America yet? No, we did not. So, we don't have anything new. We'll check out our flights in Europe. I'm pretty sure US is okay, but we'll check there too because we now have competition. New York to London. So, actually, we don't need to because that's still the dominating thing going on. Uh, Paris, don't know yet. Uh, Rome, don't know yet. Uh, Athens, 100%. That's a good sign. Uh, Vienna, 100%. Always a good sign. So we're doing good. We're on the right course, guys. We're on the right course. Our strategy is solidifying, and I'm going to be uh, epic levels of richness here. Um, and we guys, we just got to keep the momentum going because Dragon's going to start trying to dick around with my uh, ability to do well. And nobody likes a good dicking from a dragon that I know of. All right, so sightseeing in Cebu, which is in Thailand? No, it's on one of the islands. I forget which island. I don't know. Nah, I could be wrong. I don't even care anymore. We'll get that sorted out when we get over there. That is a priority because most of the money you can make is usually outright as in America and Asia first. Those are the two best places to start in, arguably. All right, and there we go. Still the same amount. And remember, anytime we invest in South America, we're going to lose money, but that's intentional. All right, Boeing released, started selling the 707. We'll take a look at that plane if we need to, but I doubt we'll use it early on. We'll see. All right. Yay. And we'll have two minions, I think, free, if not three. Two. Okay. Two minion. Um, okay, let's go to, let's go to, Af let's go to a uh, Middle East and take a look here. Now that tourism is not a factor, we can actually start analyzing Baghdad over, um, over New Delhi, over India, New Delhi. Okay, so tourism blows, the economy blows, and there are like no slots. So a lack of slots is always an issue. Um, not a lot of slots in uh, Baghdad either. 2014, so maybe New Delhi is the way to go right now. Um, though, if we fly to Baghdad, we can increase Baghdad's 
more likely to get slots soon. Yeah, they're gonna get new slots anyway. So let's actually go to Baghdad. And it's gonna take three turns before we even get access to it because they hate us because we're American. We're American! No, I'm just kidding. That's horrible. But it's true. It's one of the issues with this territory. Um, and they, they make that a real facet in this game. The relations of America and Baghdad were not good in the 1950s, supposedly. Supposedly. All right, and we need... Well, if I'm going to fly to Barcelona, that'll leave us down with seven slots. I hate to say it, I need a few more slots uh, there. Actually, we only need three. So let's only add three for now. Oh, I can only add one anyway, so fucking A. Because we've reached the max number for the current amount of slots available. Because that's the way the game prevents you from owning all the slots. <sighs> Chances are we're not going to need to put a lot of money out into Africa. Slots into Africa. or uh, So we will max out the slots in uh, Barcelona. Or Madrid, I'm sorry. And see how that goes. One plane. 10% is fine for this flight. And I did say we were going to look at those Boeing 707s. So we'll take a look at those. Because they are US made, that will increase our availability of um, planes. It's another reason it's good to start in the US because you get more plane options. It's one of the easiest places to start, arguably. Because of the plane options. And the plane options are always pretty damn decent. Okay, so this guy gives us massive seating. 140. It almost doubles the, it doubles the seating of... No, it almost doubles the seating of the DC-6. Uh, it's gas efficiency is shit. And it's maintenance is shit. At 42 mil, 42.3 mil, Boeing can suck it. I don't want that plane. It's too expensive. The the amount of passengers doesn't it doesn't it doesn't make the my, the, the, the 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 other expenses acceptable. That that passenger load is not that spectacular. So I would give it the bird at that point. We're gonna end our turn. Oh uh, yeah, we did look at the. I was gonna say, oops, I forgot to look at the Boeing 707, but I did. And Baghdad's going to Beijing. Looks like they sorted out their red flights. Probably making them so ridiculously cheap that anybody can afford it. Which is fine. Rio, we still haven't done much in South America. We're, we're working on it slowly. Because there's no reason to speed it up fast. And I think that was the 22 slots that just opened up in Mexico. We'll double check. I know I power through it fast, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so used to playing games like this at high speed when you're familiar with them. And I did do a warm-up of this game. I did say last time last time I played this game was like 20-some-odd years ago. And that is true, but I did do a test run of, of this game, and now I'm speeding through it. Um, Alright. So, we still dominate monetarily. And we're number one. It's still in Asia, in North America, and Europe. Catching up in South America, very slow. It's slow, but it's it's consistent. It, we're not doing worse in those countries, which is what's important. It's easy to do bad in those countries. So far, we're doing all right. Okay, we got the three slots, uh, slots in Lima, five slots in Tunis, and the one slot in London. <laughs> That'll help for Europe. Pakistan is poor in the area, so it's underdeveloped. One, two, three, fifty-five mil. Yeah, right. These normally I always say no, and most of the competitors never do it either, unless you're like the only reason to do it is if it's in like Moscow, because then your relations with them will be great, as and normally they would be awful. All right, let me check uh, slot availability in, in Mexico City, because if that's not better, um, we still gotta wait that out, and that's that's what's hurting us to expand right now two more turns and we can expand and so in two more turns if we can expand let's start prepping some of the other places we want to go so let's do santiago with three slots because we're not going to get a lot of slots i'm going to tell you that right now and let's send someone else to buenos Aires. and i don't 
think anybody's going to, uh... Let me see. I, I gotta check. I don't think anybody's going to, uh, Rio. For some reason. That can't be right. It looks like it is, though. Nobody's flying to Rio. Let me check this out. Oh, yeah, they are. There's six flights going to Rio. So, let's do three. Because we'll have to use our big planes to make this flight. And she'll be available. These two guys will be available by then. Actually, all three of them will be available to increase slots. And uh, so, three, six, nine, twelve, three, six, nine right now. Because we're going to make a flight to uh, Lima now. Lima, Peru. We'll use our standard plane. We only got five of them left, so we might have to start looking at plane buying again. Which is fine. Because it'll leave us with very... F Ooh, no, 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 no. Um, that one's fine. We're gonna go at minus tw uh, 20%. Or minus 15. Which should be lower than what it is for them to go to Sao Paulo from Sao Paulo to Lima. What we're hoping for, anyway. Barbecue sauce. Okay, I think we're good in South America for now. We're all right there. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, you know what? We can do our flight to Africa. I hear the dogs echo in the night. Uh, whatever, I don't remember the song. I love that song, though, in a weird way. It's one of those weird songs that you just kind of have a love for. So they're charging at minus 25%. Wait, what? What the hell? Oh, they're comparing it to their flight from Moscow to Cairo. We're not going to Cairo, motherfucker. We're going to Tunis. Because Tunis kicks fucking ass. But we're gonna send three flights there for now. Let's just charge average fare. It's a very low economy area. They, they're lucky they can have probably maybe... A, we'll have to watch these flights. The flights we do to the Middle East and to Africa, we have to watch very carefully early on to get an idea of, if, of, of the value of flying there. But we have to fly there no matter what anyway to make it worthwhile. Whichever place we can get to do better, we're going to invest more money into. Simple as that. All right. London is great. Perry, Paris, surprisingly, is doing really well. Uh, Rome is fine. Athens is great. Madrid is sexy. Sexy kitten. Sexy kitten. And Tunis is not available for information. Let's check South America. No, there's no reason to yet because nothing's changed. Other than checking... Okay, Mexico City, New York is max. We have dominated our flights going to Sao Paulo. Awesome. And Lima's not open yet, so there's no point in putting any fart thoughts into that. Uh, London, New York's fine. Mexico, we know those are fine. Uh, let's just, just a quick check to make sure we're doing okay everywhere else, because, you know, sometimes if I don't pay attention, something bad will happen. And we need to buy planes. Almost forgot. We're gonna need some planes here. We're gonna need some long range and some short range. So, I am interested in this bad boy, because it is the cheapest. And efficient, too. You know, I'll, I'll gladly take a fat eight of these guys. I'm happy with this plane. This plane has really served a great purpose. The longer range plane will check out for their flight to New to Baghdad, especially our flight to uh, uh, Rio. We've got four in stock. Let's just get two. Three. We'll get three. Cause that'll cover our flight to uh, to Rio. Like I said, my goal is to bankrupt Rio at this point, so... Wait, did I actually buy those planes? Did I not buy those planes? Yes, I did, because I... Yeah. I believe I did. Oh, seven. Yeah, we ordered it already. Okay. Alright. end our turn. There's nothing we can really do, so we'll end the turn. And everybody rejects Pakistan. Nobody likes you, Pakistan. Well, that's a horrible thing to say. I'm sorry. 
we don't favor you, Pakistan. At least not in this game. And I didn't make the game, it was Koai. Don't blame me. And look at that, we're slowly building up. It's slow. We're like that creepy little bastard that's rising out from the shithole of society to conquer all. And the new DC-830 has made its successful maiden flight and will be available next year. The Sud Aviation Caravelle has had a successful maiden flight and will be on sale next year. Cool. Available for sale. It's not going to be on sale. It'll be available. I think the DC-8 gets better mileage, but we'll, we'll see. We'll look into it before we commit. I want to say it gets like 5,000 miles, 4,000 miles, 5,000 miles. Which if it does, then we'll use the last five slots to go to Hawaii. That's how I usually do that. Again, nothing for us to really do. We can check our new flights, so let's do that. Get an idea of our revenue chain. And Sao Paulo's full, good sign. And Lima, yes, Lima's full. That's why I'm keeping the flights very, fe very few. No reason to go five flights a city in South America because the region's not as dominant economically to warrant you to do it. So don't do it. You'll lose money. Tunis is sold out at three flights at average fare. That's a good, very good sign. That's usually hard to get to have happen. All these other cities, I'm sure, should be fine. And they are. Um, we're doing great right now, guys. I mean, our revenue is going up. Our flights are very successful right now. Our strategy is pretty solid. Baghdad doing the worst right now, followed by, I think, Rio. We'll find out in a minute here. As they're now flying to Chicago. So we might want to put some investment into Chicago. Which I'll do next round. With our free with free dudes that we have. Mexico City has now 18 more slots, which we will buy immediately. Hopefully we can get at least 10. That's my goal. Because that'll cover the nine different places we need to go. I'll even take six and do two, four, six for the time being. But that's all we can do right now, really, legitimately. Look at that, look at that, look at that. We're catching up. Beautiful. Thing of beauty. My nipples are hard just thinking about it. And look at that. They've not gotten out of South America because we've I think consistently bankrupt them. I mean, we've been making it harder and harder for us to do anything. Harder and harder for them to do anything, and I want to keep it that way. They didn't even do anything. I don't think. Or they sent people out, but I didn't see them do anything. Alright, let's go ahead and get some slots. We're hoping for nine. The lucky number here is nine. Please give us nine. Yeah! Just at nine, baby. Fucking A. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And we have access to the Middle East, but before we do any of that, let's hub it up. Hub it up, 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 hub it up. Let us put a hub in Africa. I bless the rains down in Africa. The rains down in Africa. I bless the rains, the rains in Africa, my Africa. All right, to the Middle East. Uh, we have to connect a flight, so let's uh, connect a flight, flight, a flight, a flight from London to Baghdad, because we've got to do it before we can hub it up. Because we got to hub it up. That's the big thing. It's hubbing it up. We should use our longer plane to be more efficient with our flights. So we only have to use two planes instead of three. Uh, Tehran to London. Man, they're they're struggling here. So let's do this. Max out the flights. Average fare. See how it does. Because we own the businesses. We own some businesses. Not all of them, but we own some businesses uh, there. And let's build a hub in uh, in the Middle East and get that going. I don't have any interest in expanding in the Middle East right now. Um, because it's going to be hard for us to take it over. The only chance we have of taking anything over real realistically is in Africa. Which isn't that hard to do. Um, it's just expensive and you lose a lot of money trying to do it. But we'll do it. 
It's the right thing to do. All right. Because I want to go from the Middle East to Asia. And if we can reach Japan, which I doubt that we can, but if we can reach Japan, that's usually a pretty good pl pl good place to build a hub. Hong Kong's an option, but that's where Dragon's located, so I'm a little less inclined to go there. And then we can spread to from Japan to hopefully if we can reach Japan. I want to go from Japan to Oshi to uh, Sydney. Again, that's going to be very questionable, but that's that's the itinerary. That's the goal of what I would like to accomplish. So, oh no, oh hell no. Baghdad's trying to get in on my bling. I've killed men for less. And Tyr what is this, Tehran? The civil war engulfs Tehran, and this is gonna hurt Baghdad's international flights. And Los Angeles becomes the hotspot. Fucking sweet. Nice. This is where we get to dominate the market. And my nips are hard just thinking about it. That's why I love LA. I love LA! <coughs> <laughs> Alright, Baghdad, you ain't catching up, fool. You just lost your international flights for like an entire year. But our expenses are going up and 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 up. We need to balance this out and balance it out soon. Okay, so these new planes are... Okay, oh, these are new models. Okay, I, I feel bad I skipped through that, guys. I... <laughs> I thought those new models would be available, but obviously I wasn't fucking paying attention. Alright, alright. Do 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 Alright. Alright, Rooney. Oh god. Oh, the environmental problem around Atlanta. United States are getting worse. No, we're not helping. We dominate the U.S. Kiss my ass. All right. All right. I think there's no new planes yet. Yeah, there is. Oh, there is. Ah, here we go. 5,120. There is our flight to Hawaii. I don't know if we can afford, but look at how inefficient it is. Uh, let's just get two. Uh, three. Three, two. Let's just get two. They're expensive as shit. That's one of the reasons. We'll use our last five U.S. or New York slots for Hawaii. I, I, I think later it becomes a popular tourist attraction, so let's get it going now. And we'll get rid of the slots in Phoenix. I'm not interested in Phoenix. No offense to people that live in Phoenix, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't give a shit. And tourism is high there, so that's why I'm going to put five slots to, Fe uh, to Hawaii. Population's low, but people will want to go there, especially if we invest in it a little bit, build it up. Build up the slot. Oh, build up the slot. Oh, 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 oh. Let's uh, build something in L.A. just to keep us on top of L.A before Baghdad gets fucking dominates, and that would be bad. That's very expensive. Um, let's take the city hotel. That's fine. Three months isn't a big deal. That's good enough for really right now, because we have so much in New York, I'm not too worried about it. Um, we need to send our last minion out. So, Cairo? Only the three flights, so there's still two left. Let's, um, look at some places to send people. We'll probably send them to Cairo. Um, just because if we can dominate the Middle East with at least one or two connecting flights to a few shit, shitty places to fly, we'll be alright. There's only two slots available right now, so we'll only do... It's nine months. Let's do five slots there. There's only... It's... Uh, yeah, we'll do five slots. Because if I'm going to fucking wait nine months, I may as well get the amount of slots that I probably will use. Utilize. Um... Alright, let's do the... Let's uh, destroy South America. Oh, we can't. 
We're still waiting for the slots. Okay, that would be a problem. And Iran is still in civil war. LA is... Oh, I forgot to upgrade the uh, fares. We'll do that next round. Ah, I just lost in a ton out on a I missed out on a fucking shit ton of money. That's all right. Shit happens when you party naked. Looking sweet. And there we go. Our profit margins went up. Obviously because of LA, but I mean, it's well, we've always maxed out LA, so I don't see the problem here. All right, Baghdad sucks. All right, my turn, my turn. Good for them, they can kiss my ass. Nice. There's our long rangers for Hawaii, so I don't think we have Hawaii yet. Or if we do, I didn't notice. No, not yet. All right, so two things. Let's increase the fare in LA. No, that sounds fucked up, but what it's a fucking business that's what we that's what businesses do what is our competition five percent and they can't even they, they can fill that flight but they're pushing it let's max this bad boy out see if these fuckers want to fly now while wow, it's fucking big monies big money big, did it not go up yes it did no it did not did i hit the wrong button yes and then when the tourism's over we'll go back to 20 percent it's all about money making, baby, and that money is gonna fling us into investing into the into the into Asia. I don't want to invest too much in South America until we're ready to, in a sense, beat the game. Is really the best time to do that. Santiago, we need our big plane here. There we go. I would say minus fifteen percent is fine. Again, we got to undercut the competition currently <clears throat> before we could do much beyond that. Barbecue sauce. Again, let's just eat, max out our slots here. They're pretty far. They're they're pushing it too. Um, shit. I'm out of the long range planes that I wanted to use. At least we can do one to uh, the other place. So worry about that when we get there. Actually, we could fly from here to Hawaii, Mexico City to Hawaii, but I don't want to do that. I like keeping hubs in country as much as possible. And actually, you can't do that because you have a hub in the U.S. They're going to tell you you have to fly out of U.S., which is bullshit. But, ooh, we actually have to use our long range for this flight. Oop, thief! Well, we'll have to buy two more. Or no, we'll just send one flight. I don't think I can fill more than one flight. So... Let's just do this and see how this goes. And if I need to, I'll buy more planes when Hawaii becomes available. Actually, we'll buy more planes this turn, so that way when Hawaii becomes available, I can send three planes there. Because it's going to take three planes to do three flights. Actually, I should buy five planes, but I don't know if I want to fly that much. We'll worry about that when we get there. Where's... It's McDonald Douglas. And uh, we need... Yeah, we're going to need a bunch of these if I want to fill in all those. Let's just do the two that I had earlier. And we're and no more plane buying for a while because we've got... We've got the We've got the money. We've got the mileage. So we should be fine. Or it's not the whatever. Yeah, fuck it. I just know what I meant. Anyway, um. And bless the rings in Africa. So we need more uh help. we need more uh, slots in the, in Baghdad <clears throat> in order for us to get to Asia. Take them all. Because we also want to maybe add some flights in in the Middle East. I'd rather just get them now. The dick with it later. Now, we're going to wait on where we want to go in Asia. Because I need to figure out how far it is from Baghdad to 
Um, that other... I need to know how far it is from... Oh, I can do it like this. Baghdad. To Japan. It's 5250 miles. That's further than our current planes can fly. Uh, even, even the DC, uh, the DC-80 can't reach that. The DC-8 can't reach that. It's a hundred miles too far. So we need to hub it up somewhere else, and the, the options aren't very good. Thailand, Beijing is impossible. Seoul, Korea, maybe, but that's, we'll talk about, we'll figure that out. We might just have to cut our losses and go into Hong Kong. Um, or Singapore. We'll worry about that when the time comes. That's why sometimes New Delhi is a good option because you can reach Japan from New Delhi. But a new plane might come out that we could use. So let's just kind of sit on our hands for the time being and worry about that when it gets there. Let's check our flights and make sure we're still at 100. I think we're at 100% everywhere. I think we are. Um, we're not going to know about uh, that other place till later. So let's just go ahead and move on. Don't care what Dragon does. They can kiss my ass. And Tehran is still in civil war. Ha ha ha. LA is still the sexiest place on earth to be for sightseeing. And let's see how this how, let's see how this helps us monetarily. We'll know next round if that 50% increase did anything for us. Baghdad's flying, but they only got one flight. So if you want to go to LA, baby, you gotta pay top dollar right now. And our numbers are still the same, so we still maxed out all of our flights. And I think we just beat out South America, finally. But now, I think we're number one in the region there now. We'll check on our turn. Uh-oh. Revolution in Cuba. They're gonna go be communists, and we've got a flight to Rome. So when the Olympics start, we can charge out the ass for that. <laughs> and we are number one in South America. And we need to market share in one more region. One more region. Chances are we could probably take Africa. Um, but we need hubs still in Asia and Oceania. So that's going to be a big thing we try to accomplish. <clears throat> All right. I've always liked making this flight. So let's make it now before I fuck it up later. <clears throat> Giggity goo. All right. Giggity goo. All right. All right. And look at all that income. It's, it's an expensive flight. I can't, I can't do it. I wish I could do it faster, guys. I really could. That'd be so awesome. And let's get rid of Phoenix slots because we're, I guess, we're paying a little bit on those, um, cost-wise. So let's just get rid of them. No, 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 no! I don't want to negotiate for more. Oh, I sent the wrong asshole. That's why. All right, we gotta send, uh, gotta send, uh, Blondie McBlonderson here, Tits McGee. And let's return the two slots. Just don't see it being prosperous, or that making me that much money. And obviously, I knew, I knew this was gonna be a problem. Uh, so let's go in and, and look into that. We can fix that, by the way, but we just need to figure out what's wrong with it. Mex City, Sao Paulo. Okay, so nobody's flying it. First of all, so let's cheapen it up big time. No, I wanted to cheapen it, asshole. Bringing it down to the seven hundred dollar mark. Try to make a profit on that. Just because it's a pretty expensive flight. So we have our first red flight, so that gives you an idea of the issues here. But now, look at this. Flights are just shit right now, all throughout our region. Um, a lot of it's going to have to do with that we just can't fill the flights. Um, let's try reducing the fare, but I guarantee you it's mostly just we can't fill the flights. Because there's just not enough people. Even if you made it minus 50%, people won't fly because it's not a popular location. Or there's a lot of variables, but we'll bring these down to 40, the ones that are below 50%. We'll bring them down to minus 40%. Try and maximize possible profits here. Um, we're at 51%. We'll just drop it to 40. It's close enough that we'll just drop it there. See if we do better. This is going to be hard to balance, but the idea is that in time it will. All right. And... Do, 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 do. Let's send uh, a negotiator to... 
We getting more slots in, in yeah we are. Let's get some slots in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Yeah. Actually, we can double check this. Let's check Hong Kong. 3831 4.1. 38 38 31 4.1. 38 31 4.1. It's tempting, but it's not that good. We'll go to Hong Kong. We'll compete with Dragon finally. And maybe, just maybe, we can turn this around for us. We're going to take the 14 slots. Very good reason. Because we can turn that into a hub very quickly. We're also going to send um, Lord Dick Cheese here to Oceana and start dicking with Sydney ASAP. Take as many slots as we can get there as well. Do All right, we're good. We're done. We've made our adjustments. And on the next episode of Let's Play Aero Open Supersonic, slowly reaching out, guys. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley. And check us out at www.jacktartstudios.com and other awesome things that we got going. Uh, check out my live stream at www.twitch.tv twitch slash jacktartstudios to see live RPG streams in the now. We'll see you guys next time. I'm going to be rich, bitch! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please take a moment to check out more episodes from the RPG Guy, Tuesday Night Team Up, and more. And please subscribe. Always support the channels you enjoy watching, and while you're at it, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Keep on gaming hard. See you next time.